And hey, they do say that caffeine can act as a bronchodilator, so maybe my body's just like, you need to breathe better. Oh, you gotta breathe. Good morning, you guys. I felt like I should say good morning from North Carolina, but Peter's still in North Carolina. He's just not here at the house. He's been at a conference yesterday, today, and tomorrow, and it's going well. But yeah, so I'm just here at the house, and I had a really good morning. I'm not feeling well now, but this morning I woke up and I did sleep in a little bit more than I have been. So that's good that I was able to get some more sleep. And I went downstairs and I really enjoyed my morning. And it's, it's weird. I mean, even while my lungs have declined because I caught a cold three weeks ago, even though my lungs have declined, my mornings still are not as bad as they were. And so I just enjoy the morning a lot more than I used to. So even though there's still some coughing, it's not quite as extensive as it was. So I went downstairs even before I did my vest and I ate some oatmeal and drank coffee and I unloaded the dishwasher. I loaded the dishwasher and I feel like I did something else. I talked to my mom and yeah, I just enjoyed my morning. And then I came upstairs and I did my vest and my mists and I took my early morning medicines and then two hours later I took all my the rest of my medicines I'm trying to keep them spaced out that's ideal to keep the antibiotics two hours away from uh like iron or uh there's a few different things that the bottle says so I do my best to put my timer on and take them two hours apart so I did that and while I was doing my best I just started to feel like uh like I think the best way I can describe it is it feels like pressure like like my pressure in my head is off which makes me feel like I just need to lay down and so I that's what I'm doing I really want to get up and go unpack the working room I'm excited to organize the working room but right now that is not going to happen Peter's going to be gone probably till 10 p.m tonight so I have all day to do the working room if I feel up for it later but I'm um, just thankful that this morning I felt a little bit better and I'm hoping that this doesn't last all day, but there's nothing I can do about it. So I'm enjoying the um, bed frame that came for free when we bought this mattress and the head goes up. The head goes up and down. And so it just helps me be able to get a little more comfortable. And sometimes um, if I'm... I don't know, laying in certain ways, it's a little harder to breathe. So I'm just getting myself as comfy as possible and I'm going to try to do what my body needs to do. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. I'm guessing Peter is vlogging right now. Not at this moment, but I think while he's out today, he'll probably pick up the camera a few times. Um, he is... Uh, he had lunch at the conference and then I know he was going to go to a coffee shop to edit the vlog. So I think he was going to miss a little bit of the conference, but he said that he'll, st he won't miss like the, uh, there were a few sessions he really wanted to go to. So he's editing and uploading. Hopefully that's going okay. The vlog needs to go up in 40 minutes. So hopefully he found some really fast internet and that you guys got to see the vlog. You guys are sitting in my Christmas cactus right here on my table. So if you see a little uh, green thing in your view, that's what it is. Typically I try to only have caffeine one time a day, but sometimes when my body is struggling, and hey, they do say that caffeine can act as a bronchodilator, so maybe my body's just like, you need to breathe better. And so I'm going to have a second cup of coffee in this special cup that I had during college and I unpacked that box and there they were ready for another life. Mm. Ollie is the king of weird positions. Look at him. He's sitting in the chair with his neck 
Um, Ollie, do you see something outside? No. Okay. <laughs> Is that squirrel in your in your yard? No. Oh, <laughs> he's in a really no. woofy mood right now. He was just woofing out the front. No. Hey, Ollie, it's no. it's really gonna be okay. I'm not worried about those squirrels. I'm not worried about those squirrels. They're allowed to be there. In just a little bit, we'll get ready and go outside, okay? Then you can go run, run, run. Yeah. Let's do it in a little bit after my coffee. I truly don't think there's any better way to enjoy your coffee than with a poodle head in your lap. Oh, Ollie, we just love you so much. And for those of you who are needing a poodle cuddle today, this is for you. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. I need your tail wag. Okay, Ollie and I went outside and had a really fun time. And I visited my friend in the hospital in Texas. I didn't really go, but video technology is amazing. So hung out with her and this is kind of a random creative way to, I guess, I don't know, like basically here's what we did. I was talking to her and I was like, what are you gonna order for dinner? And she was like, oh, let me show you the menu. So she texted me a picture of it and she said, you order something for me. So I took down the number and I called just like I do when I'm in the hospital. I'm placing an order for Mary Fry, room, whatever, whatever. But um, I placed it for her. And so I got to surprise her and she told me something that she was like hoping to get, but she was pretty sure they weren't gonna do it. Guess what, they did it. And I'm so excited. So she'll get her meal in like an hour. So I'm like waiting, waiting, waiting to hear if it all arrives as it should. But there's a little creative idea for you. If you have a friend long distance in the hospital, you could offer to order the meal for them. And I can say from experience, calling to order your meal, three times a day gets, I mean, it, it gets more tiresome than you'd think, especially the decision-making process. So if you can take that load off for somebody, even just for one meal, I say do it. Good morning, guys. It is so early in the morning that I'm starting this <laughs> flight. Just kidding, it's actually evening. David and I have been busy all, pretty much all day today. Uh, this is my buddy David, and uh, <laughs> we've been at a preaching conference where, as Mary calls it, we're schmoozing and hobnobbing. <laughs> uh, but we're getting ready to head back home. Mary's been uh, at home, and I, these, this has been a long day uh, for her to just be at the house, although she said she wasn't feeling awesome today, so I think it's good that she has some downtime. But I miss her, and we're going to head home. And... Uh, yeah, David and I are going to reminisce of our days commuting to work together yes, and yes. Uh, t solving all of the world's problems <laughs> in a yeah. car ride. Every man, what was that? Every Friday, every Friday night, every Saturday, yeah. some Sunday nights. Yep, we'd be catered and we just drove talk, out and drove back. Talk about life and yeah. I, I thought about I, I so you know uh, James Corden does the carpool karaoke with celebrities where you like oh. it, it, you see these where you like take celebrities in his car and they like sing a song together and so like I've thought about doing uh, a series on my YouTube channel <laughs> called Car Carpool Theology, oh, where, like where, where you get like pastors and I like professors, theologians, and you you make them like sing a song and like <laughs> just show these are real people too. Anyways, maybe one day I'll make Carpool Theology. It'll happen. Yeah, you can be It'll my happen. first first guest Excellent. in Carpool Theology. <laughs> Guys, I am home and we are. Back together and it feels so nice. Guys, we absolutely love that I get to work from home. And when like I've got a conference like this and we're apart, it's kind of dreadful. He said to me today on the phone, this is dreadful. I was like, oh no, is the conference bad? And he was like, no, I like the conference. It's just dreadful being away from you. You sounded like you stepped out of a 1920s well, movie. I think what it is is like, 
I'm just, we're like so used to like being together. Better together. Oh, honey. I think we are. We are. Ba -da 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 -da. But, um. We're back together? I yeah. feel so good. Mary's had to listen to me like debrief my whole day. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> but, um. All good. And as always. As always, we'll see, see you, you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, good night. night. Don't you good night. Oh. Oh, that was my cue. Good night, Holly boy. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow.